Good evening. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. Our service will begin on page 41 of the Book of Common Prayer. A link is found in the description below if you need it. Please join us by reading the text in bold. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent. According to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Turning to page 348, we will join in Psalm 65, which we will read responsibly by the asterisk. You, O God, are to be praised in Zion, and unto you shall vows be performed in Jerusalem. You who hear our prayer, unto you shall all flesh come. My misdeeds prevail against me, O oh, be merciful, and blot out our sins. Blessed is the man whom you choose and receive unto yourself. He shall dwell in your courts, and shall be satisfied with the pleasures of your house, even of your holy temple. You shall show us wonderful things in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. For you are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the isles that are far away. You in your strength set firm the mountains and are girded about with power. You still the raging of the seas, the noise of their waves and the tumult of the peoples. Those who dwell in the uttermost parts of the earth shall be in fear of your wonders. You make the morning and evening to shout with joy. You visit the earth and bless it you make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. 
you prepare the grain, for so you provide for the earth. You water its furrows, you send rain into the little valleys, you make it soft with the drops of rain, and bless the increase of it. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths overflow with plenty. The fields of the wilderness are rich in pasture, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The folds shall be full of sheep, the valleys also shall stand so thick with grain that they shall laugh and sing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is from the Prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 55. Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, hear that your soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that you did not know shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he will have compassion on him, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I send it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall, be a, and it shall make a name for the Lord, an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our first canticle is on page 79, the Mania et Mirabilia. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our next reading is Roman 8, 7 to 17. What then shall we say, that the law is sin? By no means, yet if it had been, not been for the law, I would not have been I would not have known sin, for I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had not said, You shall not covet. But sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, produced in me all kinds of covetousness, for apart 
from the law, sin lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin came alive and I died. The very commandment that promised life proved to be death to me. For sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, deceived me and through it killed me. So the law is holy and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. Did that which is good then bring death to me? By no means. It was sin producing death in me through what is good, in order that sin might be shown to be sin, and through the commandment might become sinful beyond measure. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold under sin. For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not, for I do, not do what I want, but I do the very thing I have. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. So now it is no longer I it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our second canticle is on page 85. The Etse Deus. Surely it, it is, is God, God who saves me. me. I, I will trust in Him and, and not be afraid. afraid. For the, the Lord, Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, defense, and He will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord, and call upon His name. Make His deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that His name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for He has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Gospel reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some th seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while, and when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. 
he indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together we rejoin on page 46 in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we bring before you those on our ongoing prayer list. Josiah, Heather, Ernie, Lori, Aurelia, Hannah, Miriam, Jerry, Ron, Jason and Angie, Carol, Kirsten, Tiana, John and Gladys, Ruth, Debbie, Heather, Edward, Robert, Hugh, Rose, Emily, Jonathan, Josiah, Thomas, Mike, Kay, Emily, Baxter, Irene, Frank, Suzanne, Keba, Sarah, Linda, Dean, Mignon, Noel, George, and the residents of Brookdale, Las Vegas Springs. We ask that your mercy be upon them, hear their cries for help, hear that, help them in their needs, and for those who attend to them, we ask that your grace and mercy be upon them. We lift them up to you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. If you have other intercessions or thanksgivings, feel free to lift them up now. Lord, with this heat wave, we ask your mercy be upon all of those who are living outdoors, who are working outdoors, mm -hmm. and who are uh, without proper cooling. We ask that they are able to get to safe spaces, to shelters, and uh, into shade, that 
as you cooled off Jonah, that you may cool uh, us off. We thank you for the warmth of the summer, but yes. we also ask uh, your mercy towards those who can't bear the heat. Mm -hmm. We bring before you all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken, in Christ's name. We turn now to page 51 to join in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through jesus christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages amen almighty god you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you and you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name you will grant their requests Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.